the white giants of Area 51. Various Native American tribes have passed down from generation to generation legends of certain races of white giants that were exterminated or lost over the centuries. We'll mention some of them here. The Choctaw Native Americans. Horatio Bardwell Cushman wrote a book in his book History of the Choctaw, Chickasaw, and Natchez Indians in 1899. Choctaw tradition speaks of a race of giants who formerly lived in what is now the state of Tennessee, the which, which their ancestors fought then when they arrived in Mississippi. Their tradition holds that the Nahula people, the race of giants, were of great importance. Cushman explains in his book that the term Nahulo is usually used to refer to the white man, but originally it was designated a race of white giants who were man-eaters, they were cannibals in other words. The Comanches were a tribe of the Great Plains. One of their chiefs, Thunder Rumbling, relates in 1857 the following testimony of the tri tribe of white giants. Quote, they surpassed every other nation that ever existed, both before and after, in all kinds of clever arts. They were brave and militarily organized and dominated the lands they had taken from their former owners with pride and arrogance. Compared to these, the pale face today are pygmies, both in skill and, the war, and in war, he said. The chief exam explained that this tribe had forgotten justice and mercy and had become too arrogant. The great spirit wiped them out, and all that was left of their civilization were the trenches on the plateaus. The Navajos. Dr. Donald Panther Yates also writes about the Navajo legends characterized by a majestic race of white giants who knew mining technology and dominated the West, enslaving inferior tribes while holding strongholds across the Americas. This tribe disappeared or returned to heaven. The Manta. In 1553, Pedro Cieza de Leon wrote in chapter 52 of the Chronicle of Peru about some legendary giants that had been described by the indigenous people of Manta. He also says that the sexual costumes of these giants disgusted the natives and that the sky eventually punished them by exterminating them, be, be, exterminating them because of this behavior. The Paiutes of North America. Paiute oral tradition tells us of a race of white and red haired giants about three meters tall, it's about 10, 11 feet tall, who lived near what we now know today as Lovelock Cave, located in Nevada, USA, an area about which modern conspiracy theorists add too many, as the infamous Area 51 is also located there. It's unclear whether this oral tradition about the so-called giants of Siteka is real, or whether it is an exaggeration or distortion of native legends created when the Paiutes had already been mostly exterminated or dispersed by Joseph Walker's expedition of 1833. However, human remains have been found in this cave, where in some of the bones they discovered the marrow was found to have been emptied, suggesting that someone had, uh, uh, suggesting cannibalism. Now, it's also true that the hairs of these humans' remains were re was red, but this may be due to the fact that the original black hair turned red over time. Some miners discovered some finds in 1912, for which anthropologist Llewellyn L. Loud from the University of California was sent to investigate. On the other hand, it was widely accepted that the excavations were not done properly and that the actions carried out could be considered insufficient. So some defenders of the theory of the existence of the Sitika Ancient giants insist that the official researchers could easily conceal possible remains of giants on purpose, which perhaps were found there. And this I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.